that's his third foul, and that's not at all where they wanted to see a foul happen on him. Number three. With 17.25 left to play today. He had the big second half last night for Denny Crum, too. Had 24 points, and he had 18 in the second half. Alvin Sims is going to replace him for Louisville at the first opportunity. Fred Williams, again, the ball stops. Now, see, he's got to make Morton or Minor play him, either by shooting or dribbling. Increase the angle. Now, they, they will play Bernard. They will slough off Bernard Haslett. Haslett now has picked up the dribble, and Morton's all over him. He's able to save it outside, almost taken away. Avery Thomas now is going to pop a little jumper off the side of the rim. Rozier with a rebound. Here they come on the break. Four on two. Can they convert? Ooh, what was that pass? For three. Yes, they can convert. No pass from one week to Osmond on the other side. Somehow it got to Dwayne in the corner and he knocked it down, but you're right. They had four on two and allowed the defense to play them. Seven point lead for Louisville. The biggest lead of the game. Is this the run? Oh, nice move. Bernard Haslett, but he comes up short. Rozier and Wesby battle, and Rozier wins the battle. Nine, ten rebounds make that for Clifford Rozier now. He has another double double, 22nd of the year. Osborne, you and I talked at half, and we said we wouldn't be surprised to see this a double-digit game within five minutes. And here they are, a chance to take a nine-point lead or a ten-point lead. A minor open on the cut. Six points, great minor. It's a nine-point game. So they're just about there. Have to do something to stop the run, maybe a timeout, and that's what MK is going to do right now. He needs one. MK is unhappy with his clock. I saw him saying, what are we doing, guys? This is not what we talked about. So he's going to try to straighten it out here. Long way to go. A lot of time to do it. But Louisville up by nine right now. Because many places in the world come with crowbars as standard equipment, the new Volkswagen Jetta comes with an anti-theft alarm system as standard equipment, too. plow the back 40 introducing the new more powerful grand l series from kubota with our smoothest quietest tractor engine yet think you're ready for the new la quinta ends when you walk in you experience a beautiful focal point of a bar relief fountain on the wall of cast stone with a lion head spewing water that's an architect's description for sure <laughs> when you enter the la quinta lobby you're going to get a sense of some different zones zones you're going to have the business zone. I'd probably like to have that fountain. And the dining zone is for, of course, the continental breakfast. The new La Quinta. You're not staying at a hotel. You're staying with us. I'd like to take this lobby and stick it in my living room. <laughs> oh, so it's my fault. I didn't say that. Well, then what do you say? You don't listen. You never change. The new Volkswagen Jetta has an adaptive automatic transmission. It senses the way you drive and adjusts to fit your personality. Maybe you are. Maybe I'm not. It's a shame we only make cars. This is the regulation size Rawlings Street Ball, available for $4.99 only at Pizza Hut. It reminds you that sometime you've got to stop and smell the pizza. So hurry to Pizza Hut for your Street Ball while supplies last. Jim Brinson. All right, guys, thank you very much. I just got out of the huddle with Denny Crum. As soon as his team got over there, he huddled everybody quickly together and said, that's exactly what we would, should be playing the entire game. This is the way I want our club to play. Everybody nodded and said, we're going to turn it up even one more notch. Back to you. Thank you, Jim Brinson. 6'11", Jim Brinson under the basket. Didn't he there. look tall? <laughs> yeah. He's going to make us shoot stand-ups the rest of the time like that. <laughs> and they are statistician, and he just made a good point. Bernard Haslett missed his last two shots. He has not been out of a game in this tournament. Fatigue? May, maybe. One of eight in the second half you saw on the graphic. Uh, and against the Louisville, with the switching man-to-man -man defense, you have fresh bodies on them at all times. Right now, Jason Osborne on him. He's got the height advantage. Sam Jones fouled as he comes in the lane. The one thing about Hasler, he's not a stand-around guy. He has to work extremely hard to get open. He runs around that baseline trying to come off a, a pick all the time. Does a better job this year of creating his own shots, but most of his shots come off of screens. You're right. And it's tough to get a shooter 
open shots against the switching man-to-man -man defense like Louisville's. Easier to get inside people's shots against them. Second foul on Alvin Sims and Jones blocked foul by Cliff Rozier. Rozier called for his third personal foul with 15.30 left in this game. Now, if anything can change this ball game for Southern Miss, it might be the fact that Morton and Rozier each have three fouls. And Miner does this well. Now watch Sam Jones high in the air for that shot. Cliff comes over and maybe gets a piece of his arm. Cliff doesn't think so. All right. Had a lot of ball in there, didn't he? Yep. Sam Jones back to the line. I'll tell you what, the free throw shooting in college basketball right now it's just been atrocious. The worst that it's been in 40 years. Comes back and gets seven. What'd you shoot? 80%? About 86%. 86. I was selfish. I was just greedy. I wanted to have 20 points instead of 15 every game. That's why I don't understand why players don't work at it. 86 had to put you among the nation's leaders. That's great free throw shooting, but... The Rozier's got the other end. My point was going to be, there's really no reason not to be a pretty good free throw shooter. Even poor shooters can be good free throw shooters. It's a very simple thing. And it's confidence, concentration, and rhythm. But every, everybody wants to dunk nowadays. You work on the highlight reel, and you can't dunk from the free throw line. Saw the emotional reaction from Bernard Haslam there <laughs> after his first foul. He was upset, right? <laughs> 12 now for Clifford Rozier. Terry, I had a game the other day. The player remained nameless, but he was a 41% shooter from three-point range, 46% at the free throw line. Oh, now figure that one. Out. You have to shoot him every day. Now the guys just don't do it. Now the pressure and a five count under the basket. A quick five. Eight turnovers now for Southern Miss. It's a 10-point lead for Louisville, and the Cardinals are on the verge of breaking the game open. Southern Miss is going to have to get themselves tightened up here. 15-10 to play over the top, and 10 of the rows here. Taken away, tipped by Wisby, picked off by Sam Jones. They're just going to have to get something from Wisby. They've been trying to go over the top to him, and it simply has not worked. Now they try it again, and he do not even look it. Oh, that's really not working right there. You wonder about Wisby trying to take Rozier out from the basket. He's got some range. Now they just haven't gotten him involved at all. And Denny Crumb's club in the second half, for the most part, until the last possession, doing it on the half court set defensively, not with the full court press. The one week for three. A little short with a try. Osborne trying to save it, and it's taken away by Wisby. And here come the Golden Eagles out on the break. Wisby running it. Good shovel pass inside, and he refers to Sam Jones. Now maybe let him off the snide a little bit. Nice you know? dish. Yeah, wasn't it? He took it all the way down and dished it off and finally get a bucket. Now it's an eight-point game. Still 14-25 to play. Jack Rogers and Wayne Morton set to re-enter now for Louisville. Alvin Sims seen some playing time off the bench in this tournament. Here's the run. Go run. Keyed by the defense. Ten on the shot clock. Wisby really working hard to keep the ball out of Rozier's hands. The one week creating a three from the top of the circle that won't fall. Rozier had a hand on it. Now they battle. He's got it back and he got hammered. By Bernard Haslam as it came inside. Was it on? It was on. Haslett, his third foul. Here's the break, led by Glenn Wisby, the new point guard. And the nice <laughs> dish draws Miner, the defender, and Sam Jones, the up and under. And maybe that'll get them going a little bit offensively. Fred, they've really struggled in the half-court set against Louisville. So if you get an easy bucket, at least the feel of putting the ball through the rim helps. There's Haslett coming out of the game for one of the rare times in his tournament. He's going to go to the bench and take a little bit of a breather. He has three fouls. Rogers, free throw, good. And he has hit four out of four at the line now. Look at the foul trouble. Myers, Morris, and Hazlitt. And Rogier. Dwayne Morton picked up his third in the second half as well. Greg Miner had three in the first half. Rogier, a 54% free throw shooter, has knocked down six straight here. 17 to 7 run for Louisville here in the second half. Remember they hit Virginia Tech with a 26-6 run yesterday. It's the yeah. way they do it. And you got a second half coming out of the gate. They're always like that. You pointed out twice at halftime how they had played so many of their bench players in the first half, and there they were in a tie. 
And sure enough, they're doing exactly what you predicted at the start of the second half. You have to feel like Denny Crump's trying to get the rotation down for the NCAA tournament to play more of his bench players in the first half. He had seven different players that played double-digit minutes in the first half. That's incredible. Wisby. Oh, he had it right there and couldn't get the shot down. He's just having a hard time getting involved in his basketball game. Third on Alvin Sims, the 6'4 freshman from Paris, Kentucky. Wisby with no points in this ball game. Still no points. And just one rebound. He is 0 for 5 in the game. No points and one rebound. And here's a guy averaging 15 points, 8 rebounds a game. 32 minutes a game. They're just going to have to get something out of him if they're going to get back in it. Man. First two meetings with Louisville this year. He had 32 points and 11 rebounds. 12 rebounds now for Cliff Rozier. Morton lost it off his foot. Herman Myers picks it up to Maurice Morris. And Morris running the break. And we have a foul on the floor before he ever got the shot up. Uh, so they're just trying to get it done in transition. A couple of easy buckets. They can't do it in the half-court set. But when you send them to the free-throw line, it's it's not a bad foul, really. And they just don't shoot free-throws very well. Same thing with Louisville. Fourth foul on Morton, though. And that's a key one. Morton gets his fourth foul with 13-16 to play. And Brian Kaiser is going to come back in for Louisville. Best shot off the baseline from Maurice Morris. Big bucket for Southern Miss. That's his fourth point. And now it's an eight-point ball game, 13-03 to play. We'll watch the, the Southern Miss bench. MK's trying to get Hazlitt a rest. He keeps jumping up and down on the sidelines. He's too excited. He won't take the rest. Rozier. Dick Rogers. Dwayne Morton. Big three for Morton, who's playing with four fouls now. 15 points for Dwayne Morton, and an 11-point lead for Louisville, the biggest lead of the day. Uh, he just hits big shots. And you can't allow Hazlitt to rest very much longer. You have to have him in there. I'm sure MK will bring him back in a moment. Chris Morris. Fires for three. Two quick buckets on a Mo Morris. He has seven now. The Louisville native trying to hurt his hometown team. There's Bernard up and cheering on the sidelines. Take a rest, Bernard. You're going to be back in there pretty quick. Center missed find enough legs to finish this same. Alvin Sims blocked and taken down. Damian Smith by the 5'9 freshman. And Sims fouled him. That's his fourth foul. Make this point right here. Louisville has played one less game than Southern Miss because they had to buy. They played that bench a lot in the first half. Southern Miss has had a couple of tough games in here. Now, do they have enough legs to finish this thing? You know, I always think that's overrated. It does come into play, uh, being tired and fatigued, but in the second half of a championship game, to get an NCAA tournament bid, if you don't have enough heart, desire, <laughs> adrenaline, you shouldn't be 19 years old still. Well, you make a good point. And usually you can shake off anything in a game of this magnitude, especially Sutter Miss Day. They have to win this game to go to the NCAA. Louisville is in no matter what. Don't forget the fact that just as a player, they've lost two tough games to Louisville already this year. Pride kind of drives you in one of these things, mm -hmm. too. No question. You just want to show the other guy that you can beat him. And you forget about being tired, Fred. I, now, when things start going bad, that's a different story. Now, then you get tired. Well, now the Golden Eagles back within six. We have time out here, 11.49 left in the Metro Conference Tournament Championship game. Because many places in the world come with crowbars as standard equipment, the new Volkswagen Jetta comes with an anti-theft alarm system as standard equipment, too. From the top of the highest mountain, over land, over sea, in the desert, in the pits, when it absolutely has to start, the battery is diehard. Sears diehard, more power when and where you need it most. 
Imagine an antiperspirant that keeps a man feeling as clean and fresh as this all through the day. Well, this is it. Ban for Men Clear Antiperspirant. Clean and fresh because it goes on clear. And Ban for Men sets up a clear shield of protection that fights wetness and odor for a full 24 hours. Feel this clean. Feel this fresh. Try Ban for Men Clear Antiperspirant. Oh, so it's my fault. I didn't say that. Well, then what do you say? You don't listen. You never change. The new Volkswagen Jetta has an adaptive automatic transmission. It senses the way you drive and adjusts to fit your personality. Maybe you are. Maybe I'm not. It's a shame we only make cars. Time now for the Schick game summary. Take a look at what's happened so far. Haslett with 13 points. We might throw in there that Glenn Wisby has none and only one rebound. Louisville getting it from Morton and Rozier now, even though Morton's in foul trouble. The run that we expected, though, Fred, at the beginning of the second half, 17 to 7. They did it with their half court defense, but still a six point game. And you bring Haslett back in at a moment, maybe another minute rest after this timeout. You get him in there, and Mo Morris shooting the three now. So that's a fact. And Herman Meyer we're told in all likelihood will not play again today because of the sprained ankle that has to hurt so miss. Oh, he's back out. I'm sorry. We were just told. I thought we were told that he wasn't going to return. He's in there now. Well, they taped the ankle a couple of moments ago on the sideline, and he, he didn't look real good when he first came out in terms of the ankle. Well, now he picks up his fourth <laughs> foul, and we won't see him for a while anyway. Now, there right. he goes. He had four fouls on Herman Myers as soon as he got back in the game. So he sits down now with 11.37. He was out there about 10 seconds. Dick Rogers, Dewan Wheat, Jason Osborne. Louisville by six with the ball, 11.28, left in this game. 2-3 zone now, out of the out-of-bounds. Dick Rogers for three, and a rebound, Clifford Rosier. He's having a good second half. He's had to get garbage points the last two days, and he's done that. Had 16 last night, and what he's done today has been mostly off of the glass. 17 points now for Clifford Rozier, and 13 rebounds to go with it. Damian Smith off target, and Brian Kaiser hauls down a long rebound. Go on, Wheat. Smooth and it's picked off. Faked everybody out, including himself. Damian Smith to Mo Morris, reverse layup. Good. Seven second half points, nine in the ball game. There's Bernard Haslett still on the sideline. He's going to stand up and cheer. He might as well be in the game. He hasn't taken a seat yet. Six point game now with 10 36 left to play. Brian Kaiser almost lost it. And it's out of bounds to Louisville in front of the Cardinal bench. Now, Denny Crump still playing his bench. He's got Brian Kaiser in. He has Tick Rogers in. So Minor Morton, who has his fourth foul, on the bench. Juan Wheat has been quiet the last two days scoring. Well, he leads the, the show, leads the break, plays defense, but he hadn't scored. Osborne with a spinner. It won't fall. Strong rebound to Fred Williams for Southern Miss. The Golden Eagles down six with the ball. 10-14 to play. Bernard Haslett, who did not sit out a minute in the first two games, played all 40 minutes both games, is still on the sideline for Southern Miss. Damian Smith fouled as he took the shot. Golden Eagles trying to mount a comeback here. Greg Minor will return to the lineup now for Louisville. Bernard Haslett remains on the sideline. Hmm. I'm beginning to wonder now. Yes. I think uh, it's about time to bring Bernard back in. Well, then you have Mo Morris who hit the two threes, had the driving basket a moment ago. He's got his confidence back offensively. You could have two shooters on both wings and then involve Wisby inside. Damian Smith now with nine points in this ball game. Look at the foul trouble. In abundance for both clubs right now. Damian Smith with two free throws has ten points today. And Bernard Haslip still on the sideline. Now it's a four-point game with 9.58 to play and the Southern Miss fans up making some noise. In the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum here in Biloxi, the Metro Conference Tournament Championship game headed down the stretch now. 9.48 to play and a four-point lead to Louisville. Hey, Glenn Wisby trying to get in front of Rozier. Rozier hasn't been able to touch the ball that much out of the offense, just off the glass. Osborne to Miner from the deep corner, looping in and out. Osborne with a great offensive rebound, missed the shot, the tip good. That's got to be the fourth bucket that Rozier has got just off the tip. 
the miss by Osborne after the great rebound, but Cliff just hangs around, and but if you front him, it's tough to block him out on the glass thing. Damian Smith with a miss. Rozier with his 15th rebound today. Uh-oh. Couldn't quite convert the lob. And then a foul. As the ball came off the glass, Fred Williams grabbed the rebound. Nick Rogers committing the foul. Juan Wheat just didn't get that ball up on the glass enough. You throw that thing for the corner of the square and let your player go get it. And then the foul, which followed. And here comes Bernard. That's Herman Myers who just came back in. And now Bernard Hazlitt will come back in and replace Mo Morris. So Myers and Hazlitt are back on the floor. So MK says, guys, this is it. Yep. 9.06 to play, down six, a game we have to win to go to the NCAA tournament. And Fred Williams on the line. And again, Freddie's going with Damon Smith, the freshman point guard, who played quality minutes in the second half last night, had some big shots. Four points now, Fred Williams. Five-point game, 9.06 to play. 53%. I mean, just think about what you could do if you shot 70% from the free throw line. Louisville is. now for Fred Williams. Four-point lead Louisville. Nine. Oh, three to play. The long meet. Dick Rogers. Jason Osborne. Minor to Tick Rogers. They're looking at Rozier. Can't get it. They can to Osborne for three from the deep wing. A little too strong with it. And Southern Miss has it. Sam Jones chases it down in the corner. Gets it to Damian Smith. They got some shooters on the floor now to Southern Miss. They've gone to basically a three-guard lineup with Wisby out of there and Fred Williams and Herman Myers, two smaller guys up front. And that is his shot. They set the screen. He loves to go to his left. No easier shot in the game of basketball. What a big one. Two-point lead, Louisville. Damian Smith, as he did yesterday, leading a second-half charge for Southern Miss. He has a dozen points. They've got Rozier down inside. Herman Myers just fouled out of the game. Uh, used the triangle and set up Rozier. That was just nice on offense for the Cardinals. At the other end, watch the screen set by Fred Williams. That's a big screen for Dewan Wheat. And Damian Smith to his left. Boy, picture book. That was nice form and nice results. Interesting substitution coming up now. Herman Myers just fouled out of the game. Finished the day with three points. Coming into the ball game is Mike Jones, a 6'6 freshman who has played very, very little. 49 minutes all year. And here you are with an NCAA trip on the line. Damian Smith, who did it yesterday for Southern Miss, has scored eight of the last ten points for Southern Miss in this one. Rozier can't knock the free throw down. Nineteen points for Cliff, and he struggled to get those. And 15 rebounds to go with him. Make it 20 and 15. Herman Meyer, who had been so active for Southern Miss in the first two games this tournament, scoring 26 points and 22 rebounds with three today. And now Bozak Smith, you see, on the floor, replacing Rozier. And a timeout taken by Southern Miss because they could not get the ball inbounds. And they have only one timeout left now to come down the stretch with. 8.15 left to play. We'll be back after this from your local stations. This is the Raycom Network. People say my dad is a real lucky guy. I guess dad's favorite saying that luck is where preparation meets opportunity really is true. The one thing you never want to leave to chance is your financial future. Great Financial Federal can show you how to take advantage of all your financial resources. For example, Master Key Home Equity Loans can finance home remodeling, a new car, education, medical needs, or debt consolidation. Great Financial Federal, your key to financial security. This is the ingenious idea behind the new Mercury Cougar. Its interior is designed to wrap around you to put everything within easy reach. Including this, a great low price. And now Mercury Cougar's all-new wraparound interior offers standard dual airbag protection and more standard features than before. So wrap yourself in a new Mercury Cougar. You'll find the attraction is purely physical. 
at your Lincoln Mercury dealer now. Hey, neither one of us is getting any younger, you know, and that chest pain you mentioned the other day, I just, that's nothing to fool around with. I had a triple bypass at Norton Hospital. Here I am, as good as new. My doctor said that the heart team at Alliant is top-notch. Hey, I'm proof. Come on, Joe. Call your doctor. Charlie. Who are you talking to? Joe, let's talk. Alliant Health you know, System, where younger. wonders never cease. Today's Sunday paper and go to a participating retailer to see if you want a shot at one million dollars. No purchase necessary. It's void where prohibited. Now let's find Jim Brinson again, Jim. All right, guys, thanks very much. M.K. Turk in his little huddle said, look, once we get the ball inbounded, if we can't break it and get the easy one at the other end, get the half-court offense set up and then set some screens, we're going to win this game by making our jump shots from the outside. Back to you. Thank you, Jim. They almost turn it over, but they got it out of there finally. Big time out, too. They had to burn, Fred. They only have one left now. I think M.K. would have rather seen him take a shot at throwing that one in. Damian Smith off target with the try, the rebound to Minor. Louisville keeps the ball in the three-point lead now 749 left in the game and the Cardinals move it up Weak to Tech Rogers three guard offense in there but it hurts them defensively for Southern Miss tough to match up with a minor Rozier is out of the game right now for Louisville Wisby is out for Southern Miss and Osborne off balance able to save it and draw the foul Sam Jones his first foul Jason Osborne with three points on the day. There's Rozier sitting on the bench. Has had a big day for himself. There's Glenn Wisby down at the Southern Miss side. Rozier in the second half with 14 points and eight rebounds. Wisby unable to get into it. Mm. Oh, Nebraska. Leading by two. And Purdue has won the Big Ten. Yep. After yesterday, Northwestern beating Michigan. Bozak Smith trying to save it. Picked off by Sam Jones to the rack. How about the quickness of Sam Jones and the save? What a great play leading the break. It's now a one-point lead for Louisville with 7-16 to play. And the Golden Eagles are right there as we head down the stretch. Louisville, perennial champion here. Dick Rogers trying to save it and can't. But Williams comes up with it. And the Golden Eagles with a chance to take the lead. They've got it in the hands of Bernard Hazlitt. Now Damian Smith, who looks at the bench and says, what do we want? And they want to, don't want to do anything too fast here. You get the best shot you can get. Hazlitt would be the optimal choice, obviously. Sam Jones, it's a small lineup out there for Southern Miss right now. That's Mike Jones, the freshman, to Hazlitt. 12 on the shot clock. Hazlitt has his dribble left. If he wants to create something, he does. And off the rim it goes. Rebounded by Jason Osborne for Louisville. Had a good look. Got what they wanted. It didn't fall. Louisville up one, 6.25 to play. Remember, Glenn Wisby still on the bench, too. He only has the two fouls. He's had a frustrating afternoon. Mike Jones still in there. USM with that 10-3 run now in the last five minutes. They fought their way back into the thing. DeJuan Wheat very quick, and that one won't fall. It's out of bounds. It'll be Southern Miss basketball. 6.06 left in this game. And Rozier will return for Louisville now. 5.59 left to play. Southern Miss down one. Damian Smith on the dribble. Fred Williams. Williams with the fake, puts up the jump shot off the heel of the rim. And the rebound big for Tech Rogers for Louisville. The Golden Eagles have misfired on their last couple of possessions with a chance to take the lead. Let's see if Louisville can take advantage. Now, Louisville hadn't been able to score either. It's really a low-scoring game for these two teams. Louisville leading 54-53, 525 to play. Louisville averaging 82 points a game. Southern Miss, 77. Tick Rogers posted and got it. Six for Tick Rogers. Big bucket for Louisville. Now a three-point lead. Let's see if they can get it to Bernard Hazlitt. Hazlitt will kick Rodgers on him, and Rodgers always plays him well. Oh, he lost him. Sam Jones had a good pick on him, and the shot won't fall for Hazlitt, and they've got Tick Rodgers at the other end, and good! Eight for Tick Rodgers. 
Nobody got back for Southern Miss. When Hazlitt shoots the basketball, another guard has to get back and stop the break. Now Wisby will return for Southern Miss. Morton and Rozier for Louisville at the next opportunity. Sam Jones set a great pick on Tick Rogers. They missed the bucket at the other end, and now the shot misses, taken back by Southern Miss. Mike Jones saved it. Now Hazlitt at the top of the circle. In the lane he goes, the shot knocked loose. Now he picks it up and misses with it. Sam Jones gets it back. Outside to Smith to Hazlitt again. He's going to try it again. And blocked by Tick Rogers again. Oh, what great defense. What a sequence, huh? Amazing. Three times Hazlitt tried to go up and score, and they blocked it all three times. Watch. Here's Tick Rogers. Gets by him a little bit, but Tick from behind gets the tip and out of bounds. 4-16 to play. Louisville up by five. MK's club has had some opportunities and been able to convert them. Now Mike Jones, the freshman, comes back out of the ball game. Wisby's in. Fred Williams is in. Hazlitt, Damian Smith, and Sam Jones are on there. MK's on the floor here. They do a little housekeeping. He picks something up on the floor. Now they're the host team. I guess. <laughs> yeah. He's got to keep it clean. Yeah. Sam Jones looking. Going to have to get it in there. And does it. Uh, third time, Fred, that Southern Miss has not been able to inbound the basketball. DeJuan Wheat looking at Rozier. Inside out. DeJuan Wheat for three. Not quite. And a foul is going to be called. Osborne and Rozier were there. Battling Glenn Wisby. And the foul is on Clifford Rozier. His fourth. 4-0-3 to play. Starting five on the floor for Louisville now. They'll play the rest of the 4-0-3 unless somebody fouls out. And Denny has used his bench throughout the game, has the five-point lead right now. That three, if it would have gone, may have taken the wind out of the sails of Southern Miss, but now they're still very much in this. Down five on the free throw line with 4-0-3 to play. It's Fred Williams, a 73% shooter up there. Three for five today. Four-point ball game. 4.03 to play. Make it a three-point ball game. Now let's see what Southern Miss can do at the defensive end. Oh, the matchup again, Wisby and Rozier. So the same matchup that started the game. Now the Cardinals down through the years have had teams in this position so many times that have delivered. Wheat to Miner. Good movement on the perimeter, trying to get it to Rozier. Wisby doing a nice job, though. Ten on the shot clock. Osborne over the top. Knocked loose by Wisby on the hands of Hazlitt out of bounds. The defense almost made a big play. Tipped it out of bounds. Now the shot clock does not change because the possession didn't change, Fred. And we have time out here. 334 left in this ball game. Louisville with the ball and a three-point lead when we come back. Since your face can't adjust to your razor, your razor should adjust to your face, which is exactly why we designed the Schick Tracer. The Schick Tracer is the only razor with blades that bend and flex to the unique shape of your face. So the tracer gets in close for a clean, comfortable shave. And since you can't change your face, maybe you should change your razor. Shit, you're changing the face of shaving. What do you do after you introduce the first compact flare side on the planet? You make an even bigger splash. Announcing the Ford Ranger Splash Super Cab. Now the cool original also comes in a more spacious rendition. The 1994 Ford Ranger Splash and Splash Super Cab. Now how big a splash you make is up to you. Okay, here goes. Abracadabra. No dialing? Like Shazam? Just my voice? Okay, okay. Call home. It works. I knew it would. 
Call now for the revolutionary voice-activated phone card. Only from Sprint. And now let's take a look at today's Pizza Hut delivery of the game. Tick Rogers on the offensive end this time. Mr. Defense doing a little bit of scoring as well. Protecting the basketball. Off the glass. On the break. Two more for Louisville. Now 334 left in this game. Louisville with a basketball and a three-point lead. Southern Miss hanging tough, hanging tough. Do they have enough punch to pull it out? They have to win this game to go to the NCAA tournament. Louisville does not. Jason Osborne, nice move inside by the freshman. Five for Osborne, and again, a five-point lead to Louisville. Made it look easy. Now, offensively, you mentioned Southern Miss without the punch today. Glenn Wisby has not been able to do anything inside against Rozier, so there's no inside game. Haslett for three, off target. Ho oh, ho, great tip try, wouldn't fall, and Sam Jones gets it back. Did you see Damian Smith? Oh, All 5'9", 150 pounds, keep it alive? Sure, it might seem like a small thing. Louisville scoring on the possession after the timeout. Credit to the coaching staff. Well, absolutely. You come out of that, you set something up, and you make sure you get a good look, and they did, and they got the bucket. Three-point ball game again after the great tip try down there. And Damian Smith getting it near travel, but they say Osborne got rid of it in time. Rozier working hard inside with a miss. Good no call. Passes. Good no call, too, by the official because Glenn Wisby just held his ground. Now, is Hazlitt too tired to knock down those long threes? He's been long in the last couple, so you wouldn't think he's tired at this point. He would be short if he were tired. Got his first rest of the tournament in this half. Wisby with the fadeaway. It won't go in a mistimed jump by Sam Jones. The rebound to Clifford Rozier, having his big day on the boards. That's his 16th rebound today. Still a three-point lead, Louisville. 2-10 to play. Jason Osborne to the lane. To the corner. Morton flashing into the lane. Blocked in there and a foul called on Fred Williams. Second foul on Fred Williams. He almost got that clean. Fred Williams with the great lead. Last bucket at the other end. And there's Hazlitt with the shot. Look at Damian Smith, 5-9. And there's the tip. He kept it alive. And Sam Jones got it. an important bucket for the Golden Eagles. Wayne Morton to the free throw line. Nine points in the second half, 15 in a game for Morton. Four-point lead for Louisville now. Denny Crum. Would you like to read that note card one time and see what it Just says? Just to get a look at it, yeah. yeah. Well, they usually come with the press after a made free throw, so we'll see if that's what he was calling out. I should be able to read that. I got a lot of practice in college reading other guys' note cards. <laughs> Let's see. Get a shot of it next time down. So I can help you get off. have your talent. I could get it from four seats away. <laughs> Uh-oh. Haslett hit the deck and lost the ball. And up at the other end. It's Miner and Morton. Miner. That's big. That's huge. Seven-point lead, Louisville, with 1.41 to play. And you can't call a timeout now to set something up and get the troops back together. That'd be his last timeout for MK Turk. Morton all over Bernard Hazlitt. There he is. Oh. Bernard from way outside with his 16th point. A long three makes it a four-point game again. 1.23 to play. The Golden Eagles need a stop. And the Cardinals need a bucket to extend the lead. Even with a two right here, it'd be a six-point game and a two-possession game. Plenty of time for Southern Miss. Greg Miner, 15 on the shot clock. Now to Juan Wheat, 12 on the shot clock. Damian Smith defending him. Seven on the shot clock. They're way out on the perimeter. Miner with a spinning move to the baseline. Tough shot. Off the rim, off the glass, and he got it. Guess who's going to win this game? Green living. Guess who's going to win it? 46 seconds to play. That shot should tell you. Maybe they won't. Six-point lead. Haslett off the front of the rim. Oh, no. It's a long week fouled by Fred Williams on the rebound attempt. What a way for M.K. Turk to see the biggest, biggest bucket of the game, Fred. You don't have to be top. able to read tea leaves to read that sign, do oh, you? Head right to the blackjack table. Oh, man. Wow. That thing had rim, it had the top of the glass, nothing but net. Mm. 38.85 seconds to play. Six-point lead to Louisville and to Juan Wheat, who has not scored today at 
the free throw line. Shoot one and one. Rozier trying to save it. Big save for Louisville by Clifford Rozier, his 17th rebound of the day. He's really played hard. They have to foul him. And now Morton fouled by Sam Jones out in front. Morton has hit his last three free throw attempts. 17 points on the day. We'll go to the line again. This has been a major challenge from a team on a roll. Southern Miss came in was playing well and then all of a sudden caught fire upset Tulane upset UNCC and look in the last couple of minutes like they were ready to upset Louisville Cardinals and, and this one's not over yet I mean you've got 30 seconds left and it's a two possession game if Dwayne Morton does not knock down this free throw look for him to get it to Hazlitt if they come down to the other end they need a three big time and it is still a two possession game Whoa. Wisby gets a rebound and he's fouled Whoa. Uh oh that changes the game Wisby will go to the line now he has not scored today he's over three at the line he's a 56 percent shooter on the year and he's walking down there with what little hope Southern Mist has left riding on his ability to get a free throw down well I could always read the other guy's notes in class I cannot read lips can't read the lips huh <laughs> Thought we could hear MK for a moment, but uh, Glenn Wisby at the line, only a 59% free throw shooter. Got to imagine there's going to be a miss, and you try to tip back if you're Southern Miss. Danny Crum has called a timeout here. He has two left. Southern Miss has one. The possession arrow belongs to Southern Miss. The lead belongs to Louisville by six, 28.85 seconds to play. Will we come back for the Metro Conference Championship? When you want something better, Aspire. Aspire to stop worrying about the little things. Aspire to conserve energy. Aspire to be better at handling surprises. Aspire to protect what's really important to you. Aspire to be smart with your money. Introducing the new Aspire from Ford. The lowest priced car with standard dual airbags. Aspire, a new kind of car for anyone reaching for something better. From the top of the highest mountain, over land, over sea, in the desert, in the pits, when it absolutely has to start, the battery is die hard. Sears die hard, more power when and where you need it most. The Great Eight, a two-day tournament matching this year's NCAA Final Eight, is coming to the Palace of Auburn Hills, Michigan on November 29th and 30th. Tickets range from $39 to $99, and they'll be distributed through a national lottery due to the expected high demand. To enter that lottery, send a postcard to this address, or for further ticket information, call 810-377-0100. Now, 28.85 seconds to play. Louisville up six. Glenn Wisby on the line has not scored today. He's over three at the free throw line. Double bonus. He's got two shots. So on the second one, if you're Southern Miss, you try to play a little trick on the line and tap the miss back if he misses. All right, he's got the one. Now, see if, see if Bernard Hazlitt maybe can play some tricks and, and get a tip back and they can shoot the three if he misses. No, couldn't do it. Now a five-point ball game. The ball knocked loose in the lane, and a foul is going to be called. Southern Miss came within an eyelash of picking up a loose ball and couldn't do it. Almost had a big, big loose ball. You have foul number 11, Bernard. Paul Morris, who had some important buckets in the second half, Freddie. He had a couple of outside shots. Oh, I'll be darned. Nebraska won the Big 8 tournament. Over Oklahoma State, 77-68. They're in. Kansas is in. And Missouri, a four in out of the Big Eight, and that's probably going to be it for that conference. Juan Wheat. First point of the day for the freshman. That'll be interesting if Southern Miss does not come back in the last 25 seconds here. And Louisville wins whether the Metro gets another team in or not. Tulane and UNCC would be the at-large team, one of those two, but I'm not sure. Still a two-possession game for the tie after that miss. Hazlitt 
They're not going to let him shoot the three. Damian Smith gets it back to him. Now he does off a screen. A little bit short with a try. Osborne has it. 11 seconds left. And Louisville, within 11 seconds now, of wrapping up the Metro Tournament Championship. They have won 12 Metro Conference Championships and nine tournaments prior to today. And now their fans come to their feet in the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum and start applauding the Cardinals. And the Southern Miss fans are doing the same for Bernard Hazlitt, the senior walking off. Class act all the way around. Bernard Hazlitt had a tremendous career at Southern Miss. A lot of excitement in Hattiesburg. And you know, we've gotten to know him over the years. What a fine young man he is. I think he'll get a shot at the next level. And I think in the last three weeks of the season proved that he's got a lot of other aspects to his game than just shooting basketball. Well, he's been a he's a fine guy and just a great basketball player. And you know what? Credit to his ball club. They stepped up and took a whack at it here in this Coliseum. Just couldn't quite get it done. Louisville will get it done. They're up eight with ten seconds to play. That might be the next Bernard Hazlitt with the basketball right there. Damian Smith, a little off target with it. And guess who the ball went to? <laughs> Kater has the basketball with 2.66 seconds to play. Just keep it, MK. What a run he got them on. First two games, boy, they were something else. This game, they were something else. They just couldn't get it done with the shots. And Louisville, you have to get credit to Denny Crum. He used his bench in the first half, had plenty of energy for the starters in the second, and they just stole it. They took it right off the bat in the second, withstood the run, and get, they get the eight-point win, Fred. Louisville at 26-5, and five, headed for the NCAA tournament. Southern Miss at 15-14, and 14, closing out their year. And we'll be back. Louisville wins it 69-61. Since your face can't adjust to your razor, your razor should adjust to your face, which is exactly why we designed the Schick Tracer. The Schick Tracer is the only razor with blades that bend and flex to the unique shape of your face. So the Tracer gets in close for a clean, comfortable shave. And since you can't change your face, maybe you should change your razor. Chick. You're changing the face of shaving. 1874, the first transatlantic cable connecting Ireland and America. It was made by Siemens. That was then. This is now. Today, Siemens makes telephone switches that handle a million calls an hour or billions of bits of data per second on a single phone line. Siemens companies are designing telecommunication solutions to make businesses more efficient today and more competitive tomorrow. Siemens Precision Thinking. Today's Metro Conference Championship Game has been brought to you by Pizza Hut. By MCI Proof Positive. And by Ford. Well, again, Louisville wins the Metro Conference Tournament Championship 69-61 in the automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament and finish this regular season 26-5. and five. Special thanks here to Jim Brinson, to Terry Gannon, and to our crack Raycom crew for great work here today. This has been a copyrighted presentation of Raycom Sports. Introduced, Chrysler Concorde was named Automobile of the Year. Now it comes with the lease of the year for only $2.69 a month. With Concorde, you get the protection of anti-lock brakes and dual airbags, the comfort of automatic temperature control, eight-way power seats, automatic transmission, and more. And now you get it for only $2.69 a month. Chrysler Concorde, an eloquent expression of form following function. Now for only $2.69 a month. Hey, neither one of us is getting any younger, you know, and that chest pain you mentioned the other day, I just, that's nothing to fool around with. I had a triple bypass at Norton Hospital. Here I am, as good as new. My doctor said that the heart team at Alliant is top-notch. Hey, I'm proof. Come on, Joe. Call your doctor. Charlie, who are you talking to? Joe, let's talk. Alliant Health you know System, where younger. wonders never cease. It's almost nighttime. Time to relax and unwind.
But first, there are kids to be fed, a soccer game to get to, and yet another load of laundry to do. There never seems to be enough time in one day. And that's why there's a news at 10 in Louisville. Because tomorrow morning comes much too soon. So get some sleep. There will never be another day or a time like this. And the time is right for the news at 10. Good afternoon once again and welcome back to Fox at the Movies. This time there's comedy on the bill as Tony Curtis stars as a playboy with three fiancés and one big problem, keeping them all from meeting each other. Jerry Lewis co-stars in Boeing, Boeing. 